Howdy, howdy, howdy. How's everybody doing today? Well, uh, it's getting close to fishing season, and uh, I'm going to do a couple of modifications to my cheap Walmart Arubatan kayak. Uh, I'd really like to get a better kayak, but it's just not in the budget right now, and my uh, kayak that I've got at Walmart is still pretty good, even though it's like five or six years old. So uh, anyway, sometimes I go several miles down creeks, and I, I would like to have a trolling motor. But, uh, I mean, I've looked at the kayak trolling motor, several hundred bucks. Um, I've already got a battery. Um, it's a spare battery I use back and forth on my boat. So I decided I'm going to start designing and building a uh, kind of a, I guess, a poor man's trolling motor or electric motor or whatever to put on the back of my kayak. But what this is, is a motor that I found, and it's an old 12-volt uh, air conditioner motor that goes in your car. Uh, I've already taken it apart to check out the magnets and the brushes and stuff in it. And they all look good, but one of the brushes, the, uh, the braided copper wire that goes to it, is uh, frayed and it's almost broken too. So um, I'm going to have to take this motor back apart and uh, finish breaking that wire, clean it up with some flux, and then solder it, and then the motor should be good. Uh, I've already tested this motor out. It, it, you can reverse it just by reversing the two wires, and uh, so that's not a problem at all. So I can have forward and reverse. I uh, just got to figure out how to wire it up. Um, I've already taken the housing it had uh, three bars that come out on it that went to a housing and then it had this big uh, impeller on the front of it I've already taken all that off which I'm going to clean the shafts up but my idea is I've already measured this as a three inch motor three inch PVC uh, I've got like nine bucks in the PVC but what I'm going to do is notch out this PVC where the uh, wire is and uh, where the brushes are going to hit I've already got it marked um, Anyway, this is going to be several videos to do this because I'm waiting on parts. I've already got me a uh, nine-inch trolling two-blade trolling motor or, uh, propeller ordered. Um, anyway, I'm going to notch this out and put this motor in after I repair that one piece, and then I'm going to notch out where the wire goes on this, and this is going to be the front of the motor here. So, uh, sorry. I should be paying attention to the camera screen. Anyway, um, I'm going to notch this out where the wiring goes, and then I'll seal it up after I get it put together. Um, and for the other end of it, I'm going to cut the pipe down, and I'm going to mount this sleeve on there that's threaded. Uh, and like I said, this is just my idea. I've kind of been designing this in my head. But... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to glue this in or uh, put some Teflon tape on it to make sure it doesn't leak. And uh, I'm going to drill out a hole here and take a couple of hatchback shocks. I'm going to use two of them. And uh, the side where the piston is has a really good seal. So I'm going to cut off two collars, one on each one of them, and save one of the shafts. And then I'm going to butt the two cups that cuts together and weld them up. And then put a grease fitting on it so I could actually put grease on that shaft that's going to be through those two uh, bushings. And that should create me a watertight seal up here where my prop is going to be. Um, after I get that drilled, the reason why I decided to go ahead and use this instead of just a cap and glue it in is because once I get that shaft with the seals centered up and squared up, I'm going to take some of this epoxy and uh, I'm going to float this off around that shaft with epoxy. That way it's good and solid so if I bump something it's less chance of me breaking that collar or whatever. And uh, to connect these two shafts together, the shaft on the end of the motor and then the shaft with the seals I'm going to build. I'm thinking of just a little bit of epoxy on here and instead of using just a quarter inch inside diameter rubber hose, I'm going to use a quarter inch inside diameter hydraulic line because it'll have um, steel reinforced bands in it or uh, steel and reinforced wires to connect the two shafts together. That way if it's not perfectly straight, I'll have some flex in the shaft and it's not going to bind up or anything like that or cause a lot of friction. 
uh, but I'll just put a, a little epoxy on the shafts where the hose will be over it and then I'll throw a hose clamp on each side whenever I put it together and uh, that should take care of that. Uh, I'm still working on how I'm going to wire it with a variable speed. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a variable speed yet and I'm also working on designing the mount but anyway this is the basic start of it um, and I think all said and done I'm going to have probably about 30 bucks in the whole thing because I've already got the uh, the uh, hatchback shocks at the house I've just got to cut them and put that together and I've already got the grease fitting um, so the only real money I've got in this is the Loctite I've already got silicone and uh, the plumbing parts because this here I just picked up out of the trash it was locked up and uh, I got it freed up and like I said I've already checked it out it works great it's got a it's got a, actually a surprising amount of torque for um, what it is and it's it's actually a pretty fast motor um, I've set my foot on top of it and switched it on and it just about spins off and under my foot it's got so much torque um, and I'm also whenever I slide this in this sleeve I'm gonna use some 20 ton epoxy and just glue it in there I know it's a brush motor and I'm supposed to be using a brushless motor but I mean hey it's what I've got and um, this is also going to be a submerged unit anytime it's on so hopefully the uh, the water temperature will keep this engine a little bit cooler uh, anyway um, you know that's kind of what I've got figured out right now um, and we'll see if we can't uh, get going on this and uh, I'll uh, be doing updates and showing you how I'm doing this and so uh, stay tuned